Did you know that 90% of the world's millionaires were created from real estate investing? You might be asking, what if you're starting with just a small amount of money? How do you invest in real estate and become a millionaire? Well, that's why I'm going to share how you can start investing in real estate, starting with just a thousand dollars. This is the first video of a three part series where I talk about investing a thousand dollars, $10,000 and a hundred thousand dollars in real estate to get financial freedom, which I define as having passive income that pays for your needs, wants, and more. If you're new here, I'm Arianne and I went from $50,000 in debt to retiring early at the age of 27. So if I can do it, you can too. So how exactly do you start investing in real estate with just a thousand dollars? I'm going to talk about the priority of investments at this level, and you may or may not have these investments already. So if you do, then just move on to the next priority. First is a safety net. So you want to invest your first thousand dollars in a safety net. Most people and businesses get in trouble because there's a cash crunch, which forces them to take out a really high interest loan from a loan shark at like 25% interest or more. And then that hole gets harder and harder to dig yourself out of. So if you don't already have a thousand dollars in a safety net set aside, then invest your money there. That will give you a great return, especially on your mindset and your peace of mind. And one of the things I love about having a safety net is being able to be proactive in terms of making decisions versus being reactive when there's a cash crunch and I just get like super stressed out about it. So the best thing you can invest in is that safety net. Next, pay off high interest debt. High interest debt for me is anything that's 6% or higher. I've seen a lot of people make the mistake of investing in external investments before investing in paying down their own high interest debt. So let's look at this example. Let's say you have a credit card debt at 25% interest you paying a thousand dollars towards that credit card debt is a guaranteed 25% return on investment instantly. Like right now, if you have credit card debt and you pay it off today, that's an instant return on your investment. That's 25% that you would make right now. And it's very hard to find investments that can give you a 25% return and almost impossible to find one that gives you a guaranteed 25% return. So if you have that option to pay off high interest debt, I would do it ASAP. Every investment has a risk. So it's really better to invest in yourself first and in something that's guaranteed for yourself. And I get it. It's hard. It's not fun paying off debt, but it's actually a really good investment to pay off high interest debt because that alleviates that high interest um, from accruing and you can move on to the other priorities that we're going to talk about here. The third priority, which is your safety net. That's three to six months of your needs. So initially in step one, it was just a thousand dollars, right? Like that would just cover some random emergency. This next level of a safety net is actually three to six months of all of your needs expenses. These are necessary expenses like housing, groceries, insurance. This does not include eating out, paying for entertainment, a fancy car payment, or your boat payment. This is so that if you or your family member gets into a cash crunch, you don't have to go back into that high interest debt that is so bad. Number four, invest in your freedom fund for your first house hack. So if you don't already own a house, I recommend investing in a house hack first. House hacking is a fun way to say that you're making money off of the house that you live in. This lets you learn at your own pace and you take away one of the risks of investing, which is having a tenant that could potentially pay or not pay you, right? But because you're one of your tenants, then you'll pay yourself for sure, right? So set aside that thousand dollars for your first house hack fund and keep adding to it. There are a lot of zero to 3.5% down payment 
options available, which means that if you buy a $250,000 house, you'll need somewhere between $1,000 to $9,000 to buy that house, which is amazing, right? Like it sounds like it's not a lot of money, but you can start investing with such a small amount. I also have a video here on buying your first house and you can check that out. There are four main ways to house hack. You can either do a live in flip, live in it for two years, fix it up and sell it, or you could buy a two to four unit property, live in one unit and rent out the other units. You could also buy just a regular house, a three or four bedroom house and either rent out the rooms or rent out different parts of the house. Um, one of my friends actually is renting out their parking lots and I'm renting out my garage. So you can check out neighbor.com for even more ideas of what you can rent out parts of your house for. The fourth way is you can use a home equity line of credit and tap into any extra equity you have in a house to invest into something else. I made a separate video going into more details of house hacking here, so check that out. Number five, invest in education for your primary job first or a business or a side hustle next. So. If you already have a safety net and you already own a house, the next thing I recommend is investing in education. Investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. Warren Buffett said, invest in yourself. Your knowledge is the engine of your wealth. So what I recommend is first investing in some education that can help you have more success in your primary job. So maybe if you're a software developer, maybe you can take a class on the new um, software development language or something new in your industry. I used to be a speech language pathologist and I took classes on interdisciplinary communication to learn how to better work with nurses and other health professionals that help my clients have a better quality of life. Next, after you've invested in your primary job, you could also invest in something that can help you start a side hustle or a side business. You could learn about flipping houses or how to create an online course and other things that can be a side hustle. And number six, invest in your freedom fund. This is the fund you're gonna use to buy more real estate investments. If you're starting with $1,000, then you wanna put that $1,000 aside in a separate bank account, usually a savings account, and just keep adding to that so that you accumulate more and more money. Usually you'll need at least $10,000 to buy a piece of property or invest in something else in real estate. So I recommend putting that $1,000 into that freedom fund. I also recommend automating this so you can do an automatic transfer every month from your main account to that separate freedom fund account so it automatically grows and you can check on it every quarter and see how much it is. Now, as you get more money into your freedom fund, you'll have other investment options. And in the next video in this series, I'm gonna talk about how you can invest $10,000 and after that, $100,000. So I'll link to that in the description below. If it's not here yet, then make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can see when it comes out. Now, here are some other videos I made on real estate investing that you can learn from. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You are awesome and remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. I'll see you next time.